Hi everyone, this is Anna. So this is going to be a reading um, for the entire week. The week of July 8th through the 12th, okay? Because I'm going to be gone this week. I leave later on today. Um, but I return on Monday, July 15th for all the daily um, videos, okay? So here we go. Go ahead and give our cards a shuffle. Da -da -da. I hope everyone has a fabulous week. I'm going to be away, but I'll be thinking about you. I'll be thinking about you. Maybe I could sneak in a video or two. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I haven't had a holiday in, my God, like, I don't know, a lot of years. I would say about six years, maybe more. I think it's more like eight years. So, it'd be nice to be away with some family. Okay. So, cards for this week. This is a big deck, so I have to shuffle it carefully. Alright, we're just going to start selecting cards here for the week. Uh, let's see. Death. Oh my goodness. The moon. Two major arcana. Hello. What's going on? Chariot. Okay, seriously, this is how I'm picking the cards. Major stuff going on this week. Major stuff. High priestess. Oh my kid. Okay. So this is interesting because we have. I'm just gonna leave it at that. All major arcana. For the first time here on this channel, I have drawn all major arcana cards. I shuffle and picked in this manner. So here we go. Death. The end of something. So we're gonna divide these four cards into like the first part of the week. We're going to go like Monday um, through like the beginning of Thursday, like Thursday morning, and then we're going to go Thursday afternoon through Sunday. Okay? So, definitely some endings going on here. Something and death, transformation, change. When I see this card, it's like, oh, it's not like other death cards. What I'm seeing is someone who is just older and wiser, and she's holding the skull. Okay? She's She's like a priestess in her own right, and she's calling on spirit, and spirit comes to her. Spirit listens. So what I'm going to say is something non-traditional about this card, okay? You need to listen to spirit, really get in tune. So you can see back here, sacred stones are standing, okay? You know, Stonehenge, you see that? And we pull this card back, and here's the snake, the snake of wisdom. So there's something that you need to listen to and be really highly attuned to. Do not dismiss messages from spirit, okay? This is all a spirit card. I'm seeing this more as a spirit card instead of a transformation, as we usually say, okay? Listen to spirit. Perhaps listen to the message of an ancestor. An ancestor is trying to reach out to you. And this can happen nocturnally, perhaps in dreams. This will happen, I think, in some kind of dream, some, a subconscious thing. Here's the moon. I see the moon card, and yes, it's about inner emotions and fear, but I'm just going to say this is a dream. Pay attention to dreams regarding ancestors and spiritual messages. It is important that you perhaps keep a journal by your bed, okay, the next couple of days, so that you're able to jot down messages or um, any type of image, something that pops up in a dream that you remember, you can jot it down quickly. Because that's going to be key in order for you to move forward with something that's been bothering you, okay, or something that you need clarification, um, you need clarification of some, okay, you need, or you're seeking clarification and your ancestor spirits are saying, pay attention, these are our messages, they're going to come to you in dreams or maybe a thought will pop into your mind, okay, do not be afraid, don't be afraid when spirit comes to visit and reach out and touch you. I'm not saying physically touch you, but what I'm saying is don't be afraid of the spirit realm. Okay? 
Don't be afraid. It's an ancestor. All right. For the later part of the week, we have the chariot. That message, this message that, that you're going to get, is going to help you move forward. You see her? She's like a warrior, and she's looking at the the horizon okay she's not looking left or right or down the horses are not like the other typical chariot cards where one is going in the other way the one's going the other way no she has complete control over the reins here okay so the woman in this chariot is saying I'm gonna be able to handle this situation the currents that have been opposing will balance out okay but you have to pay attention to the message of your ancestors that message that comes from the realm of spirit there is no way around it it's gonna come don't be afraid don't be afraid moon can also be mean fear don't be fearful it's nothing to fear be strong have courage okay so lastly here we have the high priestess and there she stands between the two stones. There's the crescent moon. She's drawing down power of the moon. There is her, her sacred book. And this message, it will, it will be an insight, something. This, this message that you're going to get from the realm of spirit, okay, will give you so much power and insight and a finality, okay? It's interesting because we go from death, which is like a high number card, so we go up, up, and then we decrease down to the High Priestess. The High Priestess is all-knowing and her secrets, she does not reveal her secrets. So you know what, when you get that message from Spirit, don't go blabbing around telling everyone, guess what, and this and this and that. There are a lot of things that you must preserve. And if you read my blog, my blog is not very extensive. It's not because there's a lot of things I just can't put out there. There are things that stay recorded in the book for me, for when the time comes. Okay? That is the advice. The message that you get from Spirit, shut your mouth, keep it to yourself. Draw on that power. Let it strengthen you. Open yourself up to the powers of the evening, of the night. Okay, open yourself up to the powers of the night. Here's the moon, you have the moon card actually, and then you have an older high priestess calling on spirit, and it's dark. So this is telling me the messages that you'll get in the evening time, okay? In the evening time this week will be very important in order for you to move forward and triumph with an issue with something whatever it is that's on your mind okay this is very exciting because I've never um, drawn all these major Akarna cards randomly like I did just now and isn't that awesome well for me it is because I'm gonna be gone all week and I'm gonna be missing making the daily videos and what a good way to start off the week with all these four major arcana major currents major stuff is going on here folks major stuff it's not time to play around okay so pay attention all right pay attention if you're receiving messages you don't have to blab about it but if any of this is coming coming up for you or you're experiencing you will experience some of this stuff and if you do experience it feel free to comment you don't have to give the do not give the details of it you can talk about your experience generally okay so don't divulge the details not even not to me not to anyone okay you can probably divulge it to your cat or something or your pet fish or whatever and that's fine <laughs> But don't divulge it to anyone. But please do share your comments. I will have computer access. So let's not get it twisted. I'm going to be keeping my eye out from any comments from my people out there. Okay? All right. So the oracle says, what does the oracle say? Protection. Woohoo! Okay. During this process, during this period that you're receiving these subconscious messages through dream work and vision work 
even magical work that's going on in the evening. Ooh, how exciting. Okay, all these messages that you're getting, the affirmations, how exciting. Oh my goodness, I just want to wear like a, I don't, I don't know, I just want to wear a gown right now. Get into some magical garb. Um, you will be protected. You are protected. All right, everything is safe. It's coming at you from a place that is positive. Okay, do not be afraid. Okay, and this is so interesting. Here's the crescent moon again. We have the moon all over the place here in the spread. Here we have it again. Okay, so this evening time, the time of, of night will be strong. Monday, and today is the uh, new moon. It's a dark moon, huh? It's the new moon. Okay, so this is telling me something about this week already. If you're not catching on, tap into it. Tap into the power. You're protected. The messages are positive. They come from a place that is positive. There's nothing harmful and baneful about it, okay? Use this time wisely. You are protected. You see, you see this mermaid? She's holding like a baby mermaid. This ancestor spirit cherishes you. You are the babe right here. This is the babe. This is you. It's all of us. Not just you. It's me too. It's all of us. How exciting because I'm going to pack my dream journal. You are protected and you're loved. Pay attention to the evening hours, to those dreams and messages. I can't even stress it enough. I'm so excited because this is, the, I love, I love dream work. I love it. Dream work, astral work, you name it. But the reason why my blog isn't so extensive is because you cannot share everything. Okay, keep it to yourself, keep it to yourself. Protect it, protect those messages that are coming to you. And if, you're exper if you experience any of this this week, please do comment. I would love to share it to open up the discussion board, okay? Okay, everyone. Hope this message reaches you in love, light, blessings, abundance. Have a fabulous week. I'm going to miss you this week, but I'll be back July 15th, Monday. We'll be back to our daily schedule, okay? Have a fantastic week. Love you. Bye-bye.